Hi, boys and girls. Thank you for joining Miss Debbie for story time. This week, we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to start reading you Baldy Eagle. It's a chapter book. Um, it has, I believe, four, possibly five chapters. So I don't know if it'll take us all week, but we're going to start it today. And um, this is what we'll be reading every day this week uh, until we finish. So I hope you enjoy it. Chapter 1, Baldy Meets Tom. The dawning of a new day cast brilliant shades of lavender, pink, and gold across the sky. The air felt very cold and crisp as Baldy Eagle awoke, stretched and greeted the morning from his nest on the peak of a tall mountain. He looked down upon the hills and valleys below as though checking his own personal kingdom. Today seems like a good day to see new country and meet new friends, he thought. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Baldy ruffled his feathers and said, First, I need my breakfast. Spreading his seven-foot wingspan to the max, he glided downward in a big circle off the peak of the mountain. His large, bald head, neck, and tail appeared snow-white against the dark brown plumage of the rest of his body. That big bird was impressive, all right, and he knew it as he slowly descended Toward a, toward a large river below. Around 45 minutes later, Baldy's tummy was full of his favorite breakfast, fresh fish, and he was ready to scout new territory. With a graceful flap of his wings, he was again airborne into the spacious skies of North America. His heart pounded with excitement when the terrain below changed from rough and rugged to fields and farms. Okay, Baldy Eagle muttered to himself, the time has come to land and meet some new friends. During his descent, he noticed that the field below was covered with small holes and some of the plants had toppled over. Just look at them. They were withering beneath the rays of the hot sun. Baldy landed on the limb of a large tree near the field in hopes of seeing the cause of the destruction. Within minutes, he saw a little critter pop out of the newly dug hole and moved five spaces to the right. Then his little paws flew into action again, and dirt spewed high into the air with each paw full. Finally, Baldy decided to check out the busy worker and learn the reason, reason for his very strange behavior. He walked over and carefully looked down into the hole, waiting for the demented digger to surface. Seconds ticked by as Baldy cocked his head from side to side, staring at the moist pile of dirt beside the hole. Suddenly, the ground beneath him erupted like a volcano, and he danced sideways in an attempt to stay upright. Hey, you! A squeaky little voice screamed. Just what are you doing here? Baldy glared at the little critter, but he did not respond. Hey, I ask you a question, big bird, the small voice continued. What are you doing in my field? Baldy cleared his throat and in a deep voice, he said, I am looking for new friends. He hesitated a moment before adding, and well, now I am surprised at what I see. I honestly do not believe that this is your field. The little varmint jumped up and down and his squeaky voice rose in volume. Trespassing is not a good way to meet new friends and this is to my field. The little fellow wiped dirt from his face with a dirty paw before asking, who are you? Baldy Eagle, he said proudly, I live in the high country. Well, the furry critter said, my name is Little Tom Gopher and my game is digging small holes and tunnels in big fields. Why? Baldy asked. Well, mainly because it's fun, Little Tom replied with a giggle. <laughs> but also because it's what I do best. He sat down in front of the big eagle and stared up at him. My goodness, Baldy Eagle. You sure are a big bird, Tom said. Baldy turned his head to offer a facial profile, and after ruffling his feathers, he assumed the military position of attention. I am a bald eagle, little Tom, and it is my heritage to be very impressive, he explained. I am the national bird of North America, and it would be sad if I looked wimpy. Little Tom nodded his head and murmured, Well, I guess that's true. It would not be a good image. Now, little Tom, Baldy said gruffly, let's talk about the da damage that you're doing to the crops. 
It is not honorable to be destructive and hurt others. You see, Tom, you are showing contempt for those who work hard to earn a good living for their families, and that's not good. It's not good at all. Baldy shook his head sadly. Shame on you, little Tom Gopher. You will like yourself a lot more if you treat everyone nice and respect everyone's property. Okay, that's chapter one, boys and girls. Tomorrow, I'm going to do chapter two um, of Baldy Eagle. So come back and see what Tom has to say about how Baldy reacted to him just uh, tearing up the crops in the field. See what he thinks about it. See y'all then. Bye-bye.